Hello and welcome to Rathod's IIS. Today in this session, we are going to see current affairs of 13th January 2024. So first of all, we are going to take PDF of Hindu and we are going to highlight the articles. And after highlighting the articles, we are going to see like in how many dimensions you can think about that topic. And even I will make you to learn like how to interconnect one subject with another subject. Because nowadays UPSC is not asking question in a single subject point of view. So it is interlinking the subjects. So that exercise that we are going to do with this current effects. So if you are watching this Rathod's IES news analysis, please do watch consistently. Okay. And watch video till end so that you will be getting lots and lots of dimensions and even some tips to clear this UPSC. Okay. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So first topic in this front page of Hindu is retail inflation. Retail inflation rose 5.7 percentage in month of December. So here the key word is retail inflation. So if you have gone through your syllabus of GS paper 3 economy. So in economy you have a separate chapter that is inflation. And inflation trust me so every year you will be getting a question. And 2020 to UPSC means two questions from this inflation directly from basic which came. So you have to be very much thorough with the start to syllabus of your economy. Okay. So if you want to understand the current thing which is happening now. So what is happening in our economy? If you want to know that, yes, you have to build a strong basic foundation on your statics. Okay. So to get much conceptual clarity on economy from basics point of view, you can read Sanjeev Verma or you can read Nitin Singhania. Okay. So now let us see some dimensions. So I will be using PowerPoint today to show you the dimensions. So please do adjust. Okay. So this topic is about retail inflation. So it is talking about retail inflation, right? So here especially you have to focus on this word inflation. So inflation is nothing but whenever there is increase of prices of goods and services in market so this condition is called as inflation so this is a definition and here you have to know different types of inflation so we have three types of inflation for example cost push inflation demand pull inflation and built in inflation so these are three kinds of inflation that we have in market. And another thing that you can see here is what are the causes of inflation. Okay. And you can see like types of inflation. So we will be studying two types of inflation. So first one is wholesale price. And next one is retail price wholesale price and retail price so this article especially is talking about retail price so retail price is nothing but it is at consumer level okay it is at consumer level so to understand this retail inflation i will give you one example so i am assuming myself as a consumer so i want toothpaste okay so to get this toothpaste, I am not going directly to this manufacturer. Okay, so I am going to retail shop which is present in my gully or in my neighborhood and I will be pick up one or two toothpaste. Okay, so at consumer level, whenever there is increasing of price is happening, that condition is called as retail inflation. Clear? So here you have to know basics regarding inflation types of inflation what are the causes of inflation and even you have to know about impact of inflation and as i said we are going to see two types of inflation right so we have two types and even you have to see index which we are using to measure that inflation like we have wholesale price index and retail price inflation is measured under this cpi that is consumer price index so all these are some basic facts that you have to remember Okay, so this topic is important from your GS paper 3 under economy point of view. That's it. And now let's go back to the newspaper again. 
So actually I am not using digital vote today because of the Sankranti festival I came to my hometown. So please do adjust okay for two days that's it. And next topic which is important is Supreme Court refuses to stay law on CEC EC selection issues notice to government. So actually recently government came up with an act regarding appointment of CEC and EC that is Chief Election Commissioner and as well as Election Commissioner. So actually so many petitions they file petitions to Supreme Court regarding the challenging of this act. So now your Supreme Court refuses to stay on this law. Okay, so now let us see like what are the important dimensions. So there are some important dimensions that you have to know. So here you have to know about appointment process. So this article is talking about appointment of chief election commissioner and election commissioners. So this article is talking about ECI, Election Commission of India, right? So you have to see some constitutional provisions, CP. So like article 324 talks about Election Commission of India. So earlier we have a less number of election commissioners, but now we have three. So out of these three, one will be CEC and two are other election commissioners. So recently our government came up with an act. So this act, what it did is, so it kept aside judiciary so it kept aside judiciary so for example in this uh, committee so in this committee of appointment of CEC and EC so earlier we have members so in that members so one will be pri uh, prime minister and another will be CJI and another will be one important person so but the important issue here is now this CJI is removed so here we have opposition party leader so one will be opposition party leader, one will be your prime minister and will, will be the CJI. So what happened now recent act which replaced this CJI with cabinet minister. Okay, so this CJI is replaced with this cabinet minister and this cabinet minister again he will be nominated person. So this cabinet minister is a nominated person and he will be nominated by PM. That means here PM he can show his discretionary power here. So what happened? So earlier we have members of judiciary plus executive and opposition party leader. But now it replaced with executive plus opposition. So there is removal of role of judiciary. So now judiciary which have no role in appointment of CEC and EC. So because of this there are petitions. So these petitions they were filed in Supreme Court and Supreme Court which said that we are not going to have this stay. So we are going to see this issue. So here in this context what are the dimensions that you have to remember. So you have to know important dimension like appointment process and who will appoint. So first one is appointment process that you have to know and second one is who will be appointing and you have to know some constitutional provisions. So this is the third important thing. And the next one here is how can we ensure independence in appointment process. So how can we ensure independence because there is role of executive had been increased. So if we have judiciary role so we can ensure somewhat accountability. But now here removal of the CJI is a big question now. So how can we ensure independence of appointment process. Right. So these all are the dimensions that you have to see from this topic. And this topic is important from GS paper to under polity. And if you open your Lakshmi Khan book, yes, in this Lakshmi Khan, you have a separate chapter regarding this election commission of India, elections, electoral reforms, etc. So you have to go through those topics. And this election commission of India and elections, it is one of the favorite topic of UPSC. And you can expect good number of questions from this area. Clear? And now let us go back. And now let us go back and let us go to the front page of Hindu. So these are the two important articles which appear in our Hindu paper in the front page. And now let us move on to the city page. So in city page there is nothing much important. And in states page also most of the articles are political articles. So let us pick up the articles which are relevant from our UPSC point of view only. Okay, so if you are reading other articles then it will be waste of your time and it will be fetching nothing. 
okay so it will be not adding any value to your preparation so don't waste much time on spending irrelevant articles clear yes and now let us move on to this page so here you can see one article in page number nine that is prepare zone management plan soon ntd tells coastal states so here this article is talking about coastal regulation okay coastal regulation yeah so this article is talking about coastal zone management so coastal area is very important so now if you see the threats which are faced by this coastal area so it is facing soil erosion it is facing issues of increased sea level so because of this sea level rise it is causing coastal erosion and not only that and there are many problems that are faced by this coastal area so because of this increasing of threats here so it is also having impact on biodiversity okay so regarding this uh, maintenance of coast areas we have blue flag certification okay so we have blue flag certification so this will be certifying the beaches and you have to see like in india how many blue flag certified beaches are there and you have to see in which states also okay and you have to see what is this coastal zone management or coastal zone regulation rules and you have to see even categorization of this coastal zones so all these are very important so this article is important from gs paper 3 under environment and ecology so this topic is important from both your prelims and as well as mains so i gave you almost all the dimensions that you have to see from this topic point of view clear so if you are understanding the classes and if you are getting interest in current affairs so please let me know in the comment box and please don't forget to like the video so it will be not taking more than 2 seconds to just hit this like button so hit this like button so that it will be boosting me and one more thing here is so oh, many of you might have went to vacation right so even though if you went to vacation so you have to watch this news analysis because it will be a it will be like a very important part in our preparation right so if you are leaving this newspaper means you will be out of the race so don't skip newspaper at any cost because 50 to 60 percent of your questions you are coming from the newspaper itself so why can't you spend like one half hour to two hours a day on this newspaper so don't skip newspaper okay at least watch this analysis all okay and now let us move on to paper back and next important article here it is regarding environment and ecology so this topic it is about census records 27 percentage increase in water birds in kaziranga national park so now let us see the dimensions so the dimensions are you have to focus on this kaziranga national park so there is a tendency of getting question regarding the park which is present in news and in which state so this kaziranga national park is present in assam and you have to make a list like so which are the national parks you are seen in news from last one year and you have to see from which state you are belonging to because there is a chance of getting question from this area so here you have to see data of birds here you have to see data of birds in this kaziranga national park and you have to see what is this article is saying about and from this article you can collect a good amount of data that will support your arguments in means answer and you have to see even location of this national park where it is located and you have to see some facts so all these are the important points that you have to see and one more important thing i forgot to say here is you have to see which are the rivers flowing through this kaziranga national park so this topic is important from gs paper 3 under environment and ecology okay and you can also connect this topic with G gs paper 1 that is geography point of view as well so now let us move back to the newspaper 
So in this editorial page, so there is one article which is very important that is about the factors which are affecting general improvement in sanitation and must be overcome. So actually we have to see about this Swatch Sarvekshan Awards. So in yesterday's lecture we discussed in introduction regarding the Swatch Sarvekshan Awards and Indoor and Surat they got the first place. But now we have to see some more important details and as well as some facts regarding this Swatch Sarvekshan 2023. I am going to discuss each and everything in detail, don't worry. And today is Saturday, there is no text and context and as well as editorial or open page. So you will be getting much time so that we are going to complete this analysis by 40 minutes. Okay, not more than this. So we will be completing this within 40 minutes because there is no text and context and as well as opinion page. So in this page, news page, you can see one important article. So let us see title once. So it says LS Lok Sabha Privileges Panel calls for revoking suspension of three MPs. So here you have to focus on this word privileges. Okay, so here especially you have to know about what this is privileges about. So privileges are nothing but the special powers. Yes or no? Privileges or the special powers which are given to member of parliament. Okay, I am talking in the case of parliament. So here you have to know what are those privileges. What are those privileges regarding civil cases? And second one is criminal cases. So regarding civil cases and criminal cases, we have some privileges which are given to MPs. So what are they you have to see. And especially you have to see like whether these privileges are present in a constitution or not. So if not in constitution, where they are present. Okay, so these are some prelims based facts that you have to know. And you can get a prelims based question here, not means. And this topic is important from GS paper to under polity. Okay, so that's all that you have to see from here. And if you move on, you can see this article, it is regarding Atal Setu. So in yesterday's class itself, we detailed and discussed about what is this Atal Setu and what is this link and how it is going to benefit, that is what is significance. So here this article says that India's longest sea bridge inaugurated and it is around 6 lane, 6 lane harbour bridge and it is around 21.8 kilometers long. Okay, and it is collecting what and what. So, all these things that we have discussed in yesterday's class. So, please go through this once. That's it. So, here whenever we are going for any development of infrastructure projects, that will lead to economic development of the country as a whole. And even we are going to create assets in long run. So, these are some things that we have to know. And actually, whenever you are spending on this infrastructure, that will come in the capital expenditure. And you have to see the, the recent data of this capital expenditure of our country. And next topic is India, Saudi Arabia discuss different styles joint training. So actually this article is talking about India, Saudi Arabia relations. So now let us see some important facts here. So this article is talking about India, Saudi relations. So you have to talk about what is the present context. So we are going to have some agreements soon. You have to see map of Saudi Arabia and you have to especially which are the country sharing boundary. Okay and even you have to see nearby water bodies. And next one is you have to see areas of cooperation. And next one here you have to see is what are the challenges or issues. So here these all are the dimensions that you have to think from this article point of view. So this article is important from GS paper to under international relations. So here you can expect prelims based question and as well as means based question. So prelims based from your map. 
and means based question you can get from analysis point of view okay, clear so now let's go back and here you can see about akash missile so drdo conducts successful flight test of akash missile so this topic is at most important and especially from your science and technology you will be getting questions uh, from only current affairs maximum and especially from this defense technology and space technology you can expect good chunk of questions so here it is talking about akash missile you have here you have to see so which is the missile here and whether it is surface to air or air to air or uh, surface to surface missile that you have to see and even you have to see what is the range so these are very very important things that you have to remember and if you move on in this business page i found nothing much important and in this world page you can see very interesting article that is about us uk launch joint strikes against houthi targets after red sea attack so this article is important so now let us see some dimensions regarding this so this article is talking about now us and uk they are attacking houthis so who are this houthis or militant group okay militant group that is present okay and they are from yemen and these houthis they are supporting hamas so these hamas are from palestinian okay so these houthis they are iran backed so they are iran backed so if you see these two countries us and iran so they are anti so in international relation there is one famous saying that enemies enemy will be friend friends uh, friend will be friend and friends enemy will be enemy so here enemy is enemy you can see here iran and us they are anti and here us they are mainly having some strikes on this houthis okay so this houthis what they are doing is so they are attacking the ships and merchant vessels they are moving on to this red sea okay so because of this it will be having some impact on this global trade and even economy of the countries so that here us and uk they are attacking this houthis clear so now let us move on okay so these are the some important articles that appeared in our today's hindu newspaper now let us see the notes so if you want to get the notes you can join the telegram channel link is given in the description box okay so now let us see the notes part so from now onwards we are not going to change anything yes we are using only this pdf so first topic it is about supreme court refuses to stay law on cec ec selection issues notices to government so what are the important points are there so we are going to see those important points as well uh, because uh, i already gave you the introduction regarding what are the dimensions that you have to think about so if you see context it says that supreme court declined to stay a new law which brushed aside a top court judgment to include cj as the chief justice of india as a member of high powered selection committee to appoint cec and as well as ec okay so here this article says that cji that is the chief justice of india as a member should be a member of high powered selection committee so this is the thing it is a petition so if you see the details it says that cec that is chief election commission and other election commissioners appointment condition of service and terms of office act of 2023 so this act which has diluted the rule of supreme court the rule of judiciary especially in this appointment process so the cji has been replaced with union cabinet minister and he will be nominated again he will be nominated by prime minister so this is one cause of concern so we're talking about the key provisions of this act so this act which replaces election commission conditions of service of election commissioners and transaction business act of 1991 so this act which is talking about appointment process 
it is talking about salary and as well as removal of the CEC and as well as election commissioner. So there is a dilution of this act which happened. And if you see the appointment process, so here CECs and ECs, they will be appointed by the President of India. So President will be appointing. So how he will be appointing? So on the basis of recommendations of selection committee. So this selection committee now contains who are the members? So the members will be the Prime Minister and second one is Union Cabinet Minister and last one is the member of opposition party leader or the leader of largest opposition party in Lok Sabha. So actually what are the recommendations of this selection committee? They will be valid even when there is vacancy in this committee. So actually after that selection committee we have a search committee. So in the search committee so it is headed by cabinet secretary and he mainly proposes a panel of names to the selection committee and even eligibility of the post including holdings or the post equivalent to secretary to the central government. And if you are talking about the salary and conditions here, so the salary and conditions of service of CEC and EC, it will be equivalent to the cabinet secretary under this 1991 act. And what is the salary of the CEC and EC? It will be equivalent to the Supreme Court judge's salary. And if you are talking about the removal process, so the bill which retains constitutional provisions like article 324 so class 5, so this article which allows CEC to be removed like a Supreme Court judge. Okay, and even ECs they can only be removed on the recommendations of CEC, okay, Chief Election Commissioner. So, one more important provision which is talking here is protection of the CECs and ECs. So, bill which safeguards, this act which safeguards CECs and ECs from formal legal proceedings related to actions taken during their tenure and provided such actions and they were also carried out in the pack in the discharge of the official duties so now let us see this constitutional provision so this constitutional provisions is very very important so there are article 324 to 329 which comes under part 25 so part 15 of the indian constitution so which talks about this election commissions so if you're talking about the constitution does not lay down any general procedure for the legislative process of appointment of the CEC and as well as EC. But here article 324 says that the superintendent's direction and control of election in election commission consisting of chief election commissioner and such a number of other election commissioners. So this is the thing which we really said in our constitution. And next one here is the law minister who also suggests a pool of sustainable or suitable candidates to the prime minister for consideration and finally president he will be making appointment process. So if you are talking about removal of these people so they can be removed at any time okay. So they can be moved at any time for or can also be removed before expiry of their term. So CEC which has been removed from office only through the process of removal or similar to that of Supreme Court judge of uh, by the parliament. And this one is another ECs they cannot be removed except for the except on the recommendations of the CEC. So these are some important points that you have to remember regarding the uh, regarding the CEC and as well as EC. And now let us see next topic it is regarding retail inflation. So if you see context it says that India's retail inflation accelerated to a 4 month high. So now retail inflation is high that is around 5.7 percentage in month of December 2023. So earlier this month was around 5.55 percentage and now it increased to 5.7 percentage. And the important reason here is there is increasing of food prices. So because of this increasing of food prices that have rose to 9.5 percentage, so this is one of the important reason for the increasing of this retail inflation. So if you see the details, it says that all the rural Indian consumers, they face a slightly lower rise in food prices. So it is around 9 percentage, they face a higher and overall inflation nearly 6 percentage. And if you see this uh, whole uh, pri while price rise which had been hardened in December, so the average consumer price reflection for this October to December quarter 
has been 5.4 percentage. So actually RBI projected that it will be around 5.6. Now it is less than that. That is 5.4 percentage. So if you say some facts regarding this retail inflation, so this retail inflation is also known as consumer price index. That is CPI. So CPI it is a rate at which the prices of goods and services the and that consumers they buy for their personal as well as uh, uh, personal use and as well as uh, that will be increasing over the time. So it measures the change in the cost of the basket of goods and services that are typically burdened by or critically purchased by this households using food, clothing, housing, transportation, the medical care. So all which all the products that will be coming. So the products like household uses like uh, what we are using for clothing purpose, food purpose, housing and transportation and as well as medical care. Yes, all these goods and services they are included. And here in this measurement of this retail price, as I said, we are using this consumer price index. So we are have four types of consumer price index. So first one here is consumer price index for industrial workers. Second one is for agricultural laborers. Third one it is for rural laborers and we have rural and urban combined. Okay, so these are some important things that you have to know. And next topic it is about water birds in this Kaziranga National Park. So this article is important as I said from environment and ecology. So if you see context it says that Kaziranga National Park and Tiger Reserve. So this Kaziranga National Park and Tiger Reserve which is known for this uh, for the safest address of uh, glow, uh, greater one horn rhinoceros. So we can see this greater one horn rhinoceros and now we can see there is increased record that is 27 percentage of increase in the number of residents and winter migratory pet birds or water birds. So if you see the details it says that so it is a fifth water bird census which had been conducted through citizen scientist initiative. And there are two days on January 9th and January 10th it has been done and about 1,302 uh, 1, square kilometers of wildlife which had been preserved and about 84,839 uh, bird species you have found. And if you see the ma uh, map of this Kaziranga National Park, here we have this Kaziranga National Park in the state of Assam. So if you see some facts regarding this Kaziranga National Park, so it is a prestigious, it is a prestigious national park in our country and it is present in the northeastern part of our country and it was created in 1904 uh, here and it was declared as national park in year 1974 and also declared as uh, tiger reserve in year 2007. So if we are talking about some facts regarding this Kaziranga national park, so as I said it is a world's heritage site, okay it is a world's heritage site because it is having unique uh, scenario, okay unique natural environment, unique scenario. And next one here is the, prank, uh, the, the park which has been identified as an important bird area. So this national park is also defined as important bird area by this bird life institution. And this one here is where it is located on the banks of this river Brahmaputra. And even other four uh, big species that we can see in this uh, national park here is the first one is one horned rhinoceros. Next one is elephant, royal Bengal tiger and as well as Asiatic water buffalo. So these are the four important fauna species that we can see here. And this one here is the river which is flowing through this here is the blue river. Okay. And the landscape it is marked by tropical moist deciduous mixed forest. And even we can have this tropical semi green forest. Okay. And next topic it is about a prepare zone management plans soon says NGT okay to this local uh, coastal state says union territories and for this union territories and as well as coastal states so there is already warning which had been released from this GS uh, NGT uh, to uh, vacate this place and you have to focus on this coastal zone management rules. So if you see the context it says that the National Green Tribunal that is NGT which has asked Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change to ensure this coastal areas and union territories they should become the part of this coastal zone management okay so coastal zone management plan and also island coastal zone management 
plan. So as per this, the coastal or central plan, central liberation zone notification 2019 within the limits, okay, within the time bounded period. So within the time bounded period, so we have to take some urgent steps. So if you're talking about this coastal zone management, so this is a process. So in this process, we are managing the coast. So how we are managing the coast in almost all the aspects, including even geographical and as well as political boundaries. And we are going to achieve this sustainability. So India has an exclusive economic zones of 2.02 million square kilometers and also a long coastline of 8,118 kilometers rich. Okay, so because of this, we are having a huge potential so that yes, we can go for this coastal zone management and that will be helpful for critical, uh, that will be very much helpful for utilizing these resources effectively. So that will lead to this inclusive growth. Okay, so these are some important things that you have to remember. And what are the objectives of this coastal regulation zone? So first one is here we have to conserve this ecosystem. So we have to focus on conserving of coastal ecosystem. The primary goal of this CRZ rules, it is to conserve and it is to protect the fragile eco coastal ecosystem. And especially you are focusing on beaches, you are focusing on mangroves, coral reefs and even other natural habitat of animals. So here we are controlling this human activities. So by controlling this uh, human activities here, so this regulations, they are going to prevent degradation and loss of the valuable ecosystem. And we can also conserve the biodiversity at large here. And we can also preserve this coastal environment or ecology. So it will be preventing the activities that will lead to this erosion and as well as saline intrusion and loss of biodiversity in these coastal areas. And if you see next point here, so we can also go for maintaining of natural balance of coastal ecosystems and as well as regulations which are contributing to overall health of the ecosystem. And as well as you are also focusing on minimizing environmental degradation. So here the CRZ guidelines, they seek to minimize, okay, so they will seek to minimize the negative impact on human activities or human activities on this coastal environment and here we are going for controlling of pollution, waste disposal and even other forms of environmental degradation okay and as well as uh, they will be also focusing on how could the marine organ systems or marine ecosystems and surrounding areas are affected and this one is we are focusing on even balancing development and conservation. So these coastal regulation management rules they strive to balance between developmental needs and as well as environment pollution. And even we are focusing on sustainable development activities as well. And even we are going for sustainable or safeguarding of livelihood. So this CRZ rules they take into account of livelihoods of coastal communities like fishermen and other traditional users of the coastal resources. And this one is the regulation which also aims to protect their interest. And also they will be helpful to ensure the activities does not harm the in environment. And this one is we can also promote the responsible tourism as well. So in, in, the, in all areas which had been designated as tourism activities, so here we have to improve or uh, impose a CRZ guidelines. And we have to focus more on promoting responsible and sustainable tourism practices. And this one is, so this also includes regulating the construction of tourism and infrastructure to prevent in, uh, negative impact on the environment. And next one here is uh, preserving of cultural and as well as historical heritage. So here the regulations, they also consider the present preservation of culture and as well as historical ties along the coast. And even we are focusing on protecting this heritage sites and even we are going to decrease the impact on the development process and environment as well. And next one is climate change adaptation. So here because of this vulnerability of this coastal areas to climate change, here CRZ rules often incorporate measures to address the impacts of rising sea level. Okay and next topic is about numbers game. So this article is talking about swatch surveillance. So here we are going to see this topic in detail. 
So if you see the context, it says that for the eight year running, so Central has announced this first Sarvekshit Awards. Okay, that is regarding this annual exercise of awarding cities, towns and states. And this one is, so in this exercise here, so we came up with more predictable and uh, city of indoor and as well as uh, speech is present in Madhya Pradesh, so it had been got the first position. So this uh, indoor, which has been the cleanest city for the seventh year in row. So if we're talking about some facts regarding the Swatch Sarvekshan, the Swatch Sarvekshan was introduced by Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. So when in 2016, so it is a comprehensive framework and is focusing on encouraging cities to improve the states of urban sanitation and even they are focusing on encouraging large scale we are citizen participation as well. And next one here is the, over the years here, such a survey has emerged as the highest urban sanitation survey in the world. So now let us see some details here. So eight cities including Lucknow, Gorakhpur, Varnasi, Kanpur, Ghaziabad, Aligra, Jansi and Firozabad, they have earned three star rating. Okay, three star rating. And next one is 648 cities uh, here. Uh, here the state has been achieved a position of oh, open defecation status okay so uh, because of this here 65 cities they are secured like garbage free cities or status in our country and this watch is our 2023 so this also reveals like 129 cities in UP they have achieved ODF plus plus category so because of this it is showing that yes there is a reflection uh, our adherence uh, to the open defection and as well as free uh, standards and sustainable waste management practices. And this one is here we have 435 cities in the states and they have attained ODF plus status and showing uh, this and showing or showcasing the commitment of the government uh, towards its deadlines in the state. So there are 435 states in which we have to attain this ODF plus category. So many cities in this UP, they are now moving towards a seven star rating and especially so we have to take some continuous efforts and they have to be made okay to alleviate or to elevate country uh, cities intention to achieve this three star ratings and as well as three star campaigns. So it is very very important article. So we have to focus on the five star ratings and as well as three star ratings in this Swatch Sarvekshan to maintain the sanitation. So these are the some important articles that appear in our today's Hindu newspaper. So by this I am concluding and if you really like the video and if you are getting the dimensions and if you are at least understanding how to read current affairs for your UPSC and if you are getting at least 10 percentage of confidence of uh, reading and uh, uh, of clearing this UPSC then please do like and don't forget to share this video to your friends also. Okay, and one more thing here is if you are new to the Strathos Ice Academy, so I want to say one thing, so we are going to come up with analysis on every single day. Okay, so even though what are the problems that may <coughs> arise, so we are going to continue this uh, analysis for sure. So, please do subscribe to the Strathos IS Academy YouTube channel. And one more announcement I want to make here is, so we are going to come up with a new offline batch for 2025 in Ashok Nagar soon. That will be starting around May. And one more thing is, if you want to have this foundational course online, so we are also providing online coaching as well. A new batch is going to be started. So the price of this uh, course, it is around 25,000. So around 25,000, if you are investing here, so we are going to teach everything from A to Z from your both prelims and mains. So what are the videos that we are providing that will be like both recorded and as well as live classes. So it is a combination of both. So you will be getting and you will be benefited a lot. So try to join this foundational course also. So if you have any queries regarding the course, please contact me on this number 8074765513. Okay, and even this is WhatsApp number, you can text me on WhatsApp also. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this lecture. So thank you so much for watching.